I think when it was me, the three of us, me, G and Mushroom, there was this kind of nature of that everything was possible because we all had different ideas and we were very different people. We got to a point when that wasn't happening anymore. And on Mezzanine, um, where there was a definite disagreement with how to create the tension by, you know, referencing different different areas of our, our cultural or historical makeup, that and when that wasn't really possible with the three of us, we obviously kind of fell out, you know. Because Massive Attack really is a an idea which survives best when it's allowed to kind of push itself into a corner, you know, and then have a fight. If it's kind of comfortable and in the comfort space, then it really just loses its, 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 its kind of edge, you know. When I was, you know, out of the creative process of Massive Attack, you know, it kind of felt slightly empty, you know, so I wanted to be back in back in the frame, you know, and um, obviously when this album was finished, uh, The Hundredth Window, and obviously doing the touring and stuff, I just felt, you know, obviously the need to be back. And, you know, my creative process has always been the same as it always has been. We have a different kind of creative process in the sense I'm going to be in the studio, you know, five days a week, she's going to be there, you know, maybe two days a week. And, you know, we, we sort of function that way, you know, we don't sit, we've never been a band when there were three of us where we sat at a piano writing songs, scribbling on bits of paper and pinning them to the wall, you know. Um, it was much more one person with an idea at a time. We have, a, we have breakfast together, we play table football. We, 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 we sort of like we, we sort of like trawl the internet for good bargains and interesting ideas, and then we have lunch, and then we play some table football, and then we'll possibly sort of like surf for some interesting sort of YouTube videos, mm -hmm. crazy shit that people get up to. Then we have some dinner, <laughs> then and then we play a bit more table football. And then we're as passionate about massive attack as we are about baby foot. Exactly, baby foot. Baby man. foot is big in this. Um... It's the key, the key of the. It's a, good, it's a great release of tension. We got in the dressing room, we've got a special baby foot portable, well, a foldable baby foot for the tour, and we've we got a big flight case, yeah. It's fucking amazing, man. And also, it's the best way to um, deal with, like, you know, have guests after the show, and people come to the dressing room, and it's like, you know, everyone's really excruciatingly embarrassing, like, oh, hello, how are you doing? What do you think of the show, etc. This time it's like, want a game of football? Yeah, okay, have a bit of bang. And it's great, the whole thing is much smoother. Well, he's great at the back. We're good in, we, we have strengths, we know we have strengths, you know, we are, we, we, in fact, we would like to challenge anybody in France. Anyone who, Anyone France. who's any good. To, to, yeah. we, we heard, but, uh, you know, the English, we like to we like to boast and say how good we are until we actually come out of our country and play in the other countries and lose. 